Double your cluster, double your fun, and the farthest thing you can see with the naked eye. Hey there, stargazers. I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Dean Regis, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. It's that time of year when you can see one of the most famous star clusters, the Pleiades, better known as the Seven Sisters. But did you know that there are two more star clusters, twin clusters, so to speak, just a short visual distance away? And have you ever wondered what was the farthest thing you can see with the naked eye? Let's show you. Okay, we've got our skies set up for next week around 9 p.m. If you look above the eastern horizon, you'll see what looks like an exquisite, tiny little dipper-shaped cluster of stars, the Seven Sisters. Now, most people only see six stars here with the naked eye, but really good eyes under ideal conditions can see seven or more. With binoculars, you could see several dozen. There are really over 250 stars here, all much larger and hotter than our own sun. And cosmically speaking, they're not very distant, only about 400 light years away, which means that we see the Pleiades as they existed 400 years ago, about the time Galileo first trained a telescope on them and discovered them to be a family of dozens of suns. Now, to find the twin clusters, look directly above the North Star where you'll see five stars that trace out the M-shaped constellation of Cassiopeia the Queen. Then, to the right of Cassiopeia, you'll see two faint, fuzzy, Q-tip-shaped objects. And if you're far away from city lights, where it's good and dark out, you'll notice that they are embedded in the river of light we call the Milky Way. Now, these two dim, fuzzy balls of light are called the double cluster of Perseus. And although each has about a hundred more stars than the Pleiades, the reason they don't present as dramatic an appearance as the Pleiades is because they are so much farther away. In fact, unlike the Pleiades' 400 light years distance, they are a grand 7,000 light years away. Now, let's get back to my question about the farthest thing that's visible with the naked eye. Let's start with the moon. It's very easy to see, and it's almost a quarter million miles away. Let's step it up a notch and take a look at Venus. Next week, Venus will be about 50 million miles away, still easily seen with the naked eye. Let's go another step and look at Jupiter next week. The king of the planets is about 450 million miles away, and still easily seen with the naked eye. We're approaching the answer, but we have a long way to go yet. We can't describe how far we can see in terms of miles alone. We have to shift to light years, with each light year being about 6 trillion miles. Quite a jump, eh? We're not talking about just a few light years either. We're talking about more than two million light years. But what could be so bright that we can see it with our unaided eyes at such a distance? To answer that, let's find the great square of Pegasus, the horse. If we draw lines between four not quite so bright stars, we would trace a great celestial square, and with a few other stars and a little imagination, we could connect stars to the west of the square to make a long neck with the bright star Enif as our horse's nose, and a few dim stars from the northwest point of the square to form two front legs. And using the bright star to the northeast, we draw lines between the faint stars of Andromeda and come up with two hind legs. And it's a very special object just off the knee of one of these hind legs, which provides the answer to our question. It's difficult to find, and you must have clear, dark, moonless skies like next week. It's the farthest object we can see with the naked eye. It's called M31, the great galaxy of Andromeda, which, through a telescope, reveals itself to be a gigantic family of over 250 billion stars. That's over 2 million light years away. So, we have three star clusters and one galaxy that are visible with the unaided eye in a fairly small chunk of the night sky next week. Keep, Keep looking, looking up. up.